Alright, so hopefully you saw my first SciFax video that I released yesterday. As I said in that video, I'm going to release them daily to make sure that you get your daily dose of science. There is so much more science that we were going to learn this year, though, that I think an additional daily science video is needed. For example, in my 7th grade science class, we were supposed to finish learning about cells and then move on to the polar bear book and learn about the diversity of living things. It just so happens that we were also learning about the diversity of living things in my high school environmental science class by doing our tree and wildlife identification to prepare for the Envirothon. The Envirothon. They canceled the Envirothon. All of our tree and wildlife identification was for the Envirothon. <sighs> Anywho, these videos are going to relate to the diversity of living things, so they'll be helpful to both my 7th grade science and my environmental science classes. There's a whole lot to this whole diversity of life idea, but at its core, the main thing we learn about when studying this is just how many species there are on planet Earth. Due to the large amount of living creatures, scientists have created a scientific naming system. This scientific naming system, also called taxonomy, organizes organisms into groups based off of shared characteristics. There are several different levels of classification used in taxonomy, and you've probably already heard of some of them, such as the kingdom and the species. When it comes to the scientific name of an organism, though, the last two categories are usually used to denote this the genus and species names. For example, humans are in the genus Homo, and their species name is Sapiens, thus making our full scientific name Homo sapiens. Another example would be a cat, which is in the genus Felis, with the other felines, and the species Catus, which tells us the exact kind of feline it is, a cat. Finding the scientific name of a species, and thus its taxonomic classification, would have been a major part of our study of the diversity of living things. So, to thus help you learn more about the diversity of living things, I'm going to release another daily science video called Name That Species. Starring Chef Floyard D. These videos will feature yours truly, venturing into the vast Floyd Field forests and finding a random organism of a random species. Your job is to then research the species and find its full scientific name. The first student to find the full scientific name and post it in the comments will win a prize when we do eventually return to school. This prize could be a blue mark, it could be some candy, or it could even be some Chef Floyardi merch. With that being said, get excited for the very first ever edition of Name That Species, starring Chef Floyer D. Note that this video was taken a few years back while I was filming my pen spinning video for my 100 challenge, and you can find the link to this video in the description. Note as well that the organism I found is some kind of species of caterpillar. This particular species is often called a woolly bear, but I always called caterpillars Charlies when I was a kid, so this particular one was obviously called a brown Charlie in my mind. So, good luck and try your best to name that species. 